my hair look a mess. Sorry. I've been working with Chase. Okay. Today, I want to show you guys. Um, <laughs> he's ready. He's ready. Um, I want to give a review on. Oh, sorry. The puffer. Puffer treats. Now, what I did was I bought a um a variety trial session, and before I just you know bought box of treats, training treats because training treats are the ultimate um the ultimate supply for success when it comes to dog training. You have to get the most high value treats, and the pup fruit treat is what many dog trainers recommend um so i'm gonna show you exactly what chase likes so let me put you here this is chase say hi everyone hello okay the first treat we're trying is the freeze dried salmon treat Let's see if he likes it. Okay. Come. This is the raw cut and version of Puppy Train. Do you like the salmon? Put you guys over here because I want you to see it. Do you like the salmon? Okay, he's eating it, but this is not something I would use as a training treat because um, he's taken a lot to be engaged. Yeah, like right now, I have the treat in my hand. And I break it up into small treats because I want him to work for it. And see, like now he just sniffs it and he's not really interested in it. He's just eating it because I keep offering it to him. But it's not something he'll just work for. So the salmon one would not be the one I use for him. That would be just like a treat. Um, just for doing good, you know. That won't be one for China. <laughs> Look, he's ready to see the treats. Okay, come. This one is the Pupford Sweet Potato. Let's see if he likes this. Chase, you like sweet potato? Okay. Okay, that one would be one that I use. It seems he took it very well. Okay, this one is the Pupford dried beef. Okay, let's see if he likes it. Yeah. That is one that I will not use when it comes to training. So salmon, beef, no. Sweet potato, yes. Okay, and I had already had those mixed in my Ziploc bag. I only mixed two different kinds of treats in there because I like to switch up my currencies um, when I'm training him 
so that he worked for it and he never knows what he's going to get. However, after the first few sessions and I noticed he didn't care too much for those treats, I didn't even mix up my other two bags because um, I need for him to work for it. I need for him to want to eat it so or want to work for it and have it and he wasn't doing it. So, um, let's try the freeze-dried rabbit. Come on, Chase. Look, he's happy for this treat. He might like it. Let's see. What do you think about rabbit? <laughs> Stop it. Okay. It looks like he took the rabbit very well. He, he loved rabbit. So, hey, Chase. Down. 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 Yes. Good job. And I should have broke it up. Normally I break them in little small pieces, but since we're trying to, I'm trying to see which one he likes and which one he worked for, I just gave him a full piece. Okay, so sweet potato and rabbit for the win. Ultimate treat um, that he really, really likes and he really, really will work for is Chase, come. Yes, good job, buddy. <laughs> he really really likes and he really really would work for is chicken he really loves chicken leave it leave it chase leave it leave it yes good job leave it leave it yes good job Okay, looks like we got some training to do. He's um, 11 weeks tomorrow. So there's still lots and lots of training we have to do. And right now we're working on leave it. Stop chewing. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's my review on um, that's my review on the pup for treats. Um, comment down below and let me know what is your dog favorite treats or what do you think about pup for treats. Um, all right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Chase. Chase, come tell them bye. Say bye.